The squid can control and sync your modular gear via the two CV and gate outputs, making it a useful MIDI to CV gate conversion tool. CV stands for control voltage and relates to the pitch output in volts per octave. Most Eurorack responds to volts per octave, but some analog hardware, such as Korg and Yamaha devices, respond to hertz voltage. It's possible to select between the two in the global settings. It's possible to send V-trigger or S-trigger gate signals from the squid too. It's important to check the CV input specification of the equipment you're trying to connect to. The voltage outputs that can be selected on the squid in the global settings include 1 volt per octave, 2 volts per octave, 5 volts per octave, and 10 volts per octave. Minus 5 volts per octave can be used to control the cutoff frequency of the filters or modular synths. You can connect a synth or sound module compatible with CV and gate via a mono mini jack cable, otherwise known as a patch cable. First connect the gate 1 output on the rear of the squid to the gate input on your modular device. Then connect the CV1 output on the rear of the squid to a CV input on your modular device. In this example, we'll send CV and gate information to some Eurorack modular equipment. Select a track by pressing the track button and tapping a pad. Next, we'll set the output of this track to CV gate 1 by using the rotary selector to scroll through to where it says CV gate 1. It's possible to jump between different output sections quickly by pressing shift and turning the rotary selector. There are three different gate settings available for each CV gate track on the squid which can be selected in the global settings menu. Press the global button and scroll to gate settings. By pushing down on the rotary selector, you can select either S-trigger, V-trigger 5 volts or V-trigger 10 volts. You can also set the polarity of the gate outputs to either positive or negative. Press the global button, scroll along to the CV1 range and select 5 volts. Next, scroll along to gate 1 mode and make sure V-trigger 10 volts is selected. Now press the back button to return to the main screen. To test, we're sending CV and gate values to our modular device. We'll enter scale mode by pressing the scale button. Now play the pads to see if you're getting sound. Let's randomly generate some triggers and pitch values to make a pattern. We can slide between values using the CV slide track on the squid. Press shift and tie to enter CV slide mode. The pads turn purple indicating that you're in CV slide mode. Press some pads to create slides between notes. With Modular, you can take this one step further and apply the CV and gate to other parameters on your setup. Here we'll put CV2 into the cutoff frequency of the filter on our Modular setup. We can then use another track to step control the filter and use all pattern features to create really interesting and random sounds. Press track and select an empty pad. 
Using the rotary selector, change to CV gate 2. Minus 5 volts per octave can be used to control the cutoff frequency of filters or modular synths. Press the global button, scroll along to CV2 range and select minus 5 volts. Now enter trigger mode and create a random pattern and random pitch. Now listen how the filter cutoff changes. You can even use this with interpolation.